This is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Here's BlackRock CEO uh, explaining that, uh, yes, they are using forces and economic levers to promote all of these bad ideas using ESG. You take a look. Behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. What we are doing internally is if you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted, okay? You have to force behaviors, and if you don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race or just any way you want to say the composition of your team, you're going to be impacted. I mean, I can't even imagine anything more evil. Why do you have to force behaviors? Connor, when you take your whiteness, when you leave this place and you think about your white, I'm not forcing you to do it. I, it would be nice if you would evaluate your whiteness and your white privilege. Phoenix, you too. I know you have a little darker skin, but still a little something would be nice, but I'm not gonna force you to. What is he talking about? We at BlackRock. So what they do with ESG is they tell these giant corporations that you must have a certain amount of black people and a certain amount of trannies and a certain amount of people with limps and lesbians and give me a midget who is a little confused about something and build your team. And then suddenly, because you don't do it on skill, you actually put something in st instead of skill and quality and, and, and worth and hard work and dedication, instead of focusing on that meritocracy, you then build worse products. And that's why all the Disney movies suck. That's why Disney is purging money right now. That's why DeSantis purely beat Disney, absolutely did beat Disney.